Anime openings. Some people love them, some people skip them. <coughs> Heretics. But I'm one of those people that gets ridiculously excited for all the new OPs that every season brings, and damn did 2019 bring a lot of great ones. In celebration of that, let's take a look back at my personal top 25 openings of 2019, either because of the song, the visuals, or a combination of the two. Kicking off the list at number 25 is the quintessential quintuplets. Musically, I love how the voice actresses took turns singing lines throughout the song and in the order the quintuplets were born, before then uniting for the ridiculously catchy and upbeat chorus. And visually, I think the way they managed to so accurately include each of the girls' personalities and brief character moments was a really great touch for fans. You can practically hear Nino's hmm on the stairs, and Itsuki throwing more food on Futuro's plate and looking smug as hell about it was just hilarious. And again, when rotating through each of the girls during the chorus, their expressions perfectly captured each of their personalities. Overall, it's a ton of fun to both watch and listen to. Copcraft's OP kicks in fast and hard, with a jazzy hook that instantly got my attention and didn't let go until the song was long over. The neon lights and cyberpunk aesthetic really make the OP's visuals pop, and they pair really nicely with the unique jazz tone that the song sets. The constant movement also serves to make sure that there's always something interesting happening on screen, be it a quick fashion show or an aerial shootout. I may be a little biased because I'm the biggest Bang Dream stan that I know, but it's Bang Dream, dude. Every Roselia song is a jam, and this one is no different. The hard rock vibe serves as a nice contrast to the other more poppy and upbeat OP, and the visuals serve to prove themselves as another example of CG done right. When the song drops, flames fill the screen and we get close-ups of each member before the camera seamlessly flows through the 3D space to showcase everyone jamming out. Beautiful. Far from the most visually interesting opening on the list, the OP for Astra Lost in Space places at 22 simply because I really like the song's initial drop, chorus, and guitar work, with both the drop and chorus featuring nice introductory shots of the characters. Right off the bat, Fire Force's first OP kicks off with some dynamic camera work and gorgeous animation featuring the main cast in battle. Both choruses showcase some great action scenes. Wait, did you say both choruses? That's right, we get a double dose of the chorus and it's sick. Anyways, the action animation is great and I also love the slower sequence in between the two that gives each member of the cast a chance to shine as they fall through the sky back into the fight. The real meat of O Maiden's opening comes from the build up and execution of the chorus, which is honestly just great. The penultimate shot before the chorus kicks in, featuring all of the characters standing in a circle, reading and looking content and reflective, serves as a metaphorical calm before the storm, which is brought when the opening erupts into a catchy chorus and a shot of all of the girls running. Following that is another short but gorgeous shot of the cast admiring the view and then walking forwards with purpose. All these shots do a fantastic job of showing the determination that the girls have to strive ever forward in their journey of self-discovery, and the chorus is a bop that I could listen to all day. Being a drama with a heavy focus on music, it's no surprise that Given's opening is an absolute banger, and it's not just the song that excels. The visuals do a good job of introducing the cast in a fun way before quickly shifting to a pure black background and glitchy effects that serve to imply there's something more going on here. The guitar strings snapping when the chorus hits and the following shots of the cast just reinforce that notion, and then the final scene of the band performing drives home some of the raw emotion on tap. This opening captures Given's tone with ease. I seriously have no idea how many times I've listened to this opening at this point. The visuals are pretty standard shonen fare, you know, cast introductions, slow-mo scenes, flashbacks, ominous foreshadowing, all that shit. But man, oh my god is that Ohio Sakai Good Morning World line catchy. And I mean really, the song itself as a whole is pretty damn good in my opinion. Nice vocals and just really fun. Yep, that's right, back to back Dr. Stone openings. Like Fire Force's first OP, we get a double serving of the chorus in this one and it's yet again another jam. I love the guitar and bass work leading up to the second chorus in particular, and the chorus itself is ridiculously catchy. The visuals are again kinda stereotypical shonen stuff, but there are some great shots mixed in there this time, like Kohaku, Ruri, and Suiko with the flowers, the nighttime cotton candy, and Senku celebration. Bang Dream is back for round two, baby! Unlike the previous Roselia one, this one is performed by Pop and Party in a significantly more upbeat, lending itself to an overall happier vibe and catchier song. They also did one of my favorite OP bits with each character taking turns singing lines. The visuals during the beginning with the paper cutout looking thing is pretty nice too, 
and I gotta give them bonus points for getting both my girls Lisa and Himari in there. Like, Bandori, holy shit, bless you for creating perfection. Alright, I'm done with Bang Dream now, I promise. Psych bro, you thought? Oh shit, we back for round three of a Bang Dream song. This one's not even from a Bang Dream anime. I actually didn't even watch this anime, but I absolutely loved the OP. The pastel palette song they picked to go with it perfectly fit the happy and upbeat vibe of the whole thing. And speaking of pastel, I adore the color usage in this, as I'm a huge sucker for pastel colors. The visuals are soft and attractive, the song is a banger, and the vibe is fun. You couldn't ask for anything more. Boogie Pop features an opening from anime legends Mythenroid, but with a song that, while maintaining their usual dark tone, is slower paced. This gives the OP itself a more ominous and tense vibe, which meshed well with the show considering it's a mystery thriller. The visuals do a good job of further emphasizing that tone with some creepy yet also confusing shots, depicting the strange relationship between Boogie Pop and her human host, and offering hints to future arcs. Early on, I really thought that Mob would be a top 10, if not top 5 OP contender, so only coming in at 13 shows how strong this year was for openings. Bones flexed harder than a rich kid on Instagram with the visuals in this, featuring all sorts of appealing shots. Lego characters, a Rubik's Cube, the characters dancing, whatever the hell this is, and some psychedelic color usage, and then ending with a visually arresting action scene paired with a soaring chorus. I absolutely love the colors here, and I think Bones killed it with this opening, even despite the song not having as catchy of a hook as the first season's countdown did. Carol and Tuesday is another opening that has a fantastic color palette and some really fun visuals led by character moments. As Carol and Tuesday sing and dance through the street, we can see them impact those around them and make them dance too. The impact that they have on others with their music via their guerrilla performances, and that others have on them in their experience in the industry, are major themes of the show, so seeing it represented in a fun light in this opening was a really nice touch. The song itself is easy to listen to, catchy, and features some nice bass. Oh, and you gotta love that puffer at the end there. Yep, you all knew it was coming eventually, and here we are. Lisa once again proves herself an absolute powerhouse when it comes to anime openings, delivering a powerful song with a great drop into the chorus. And of course, Ufotable also flexes on us, as usual, with some gorgeous water effect animation during that chorus. There's no way you'll make your way out of listening to this opening without bobbing your head along to it. Whew, here we are, the top 10 of the year. Buckle up because this is when it gets really good. As you've probably picked up on by now, I love interesting usage of color and Psychopath 3's opening has that in droves, mixing black and white with solid colors that really make each shot pop, be it an action scene or quick cuts featuring the cast. It also served as a nice callback to Season 1's second opening, which had a pretty similar style. While Cubism isn't quite as good as that one was, this is still pretty enjoyable in its own right. As soon as I heard the and saw it paired with the cute dance, I knew that this would be one of my favorites of the year. As I've said before, I'm an absolute slut for the characters dancing in OPs, so this instantly shot up my list. And building on that, we have this fantastic shot of the cast each doing Power Rangers-esque poses, complete with smoke effects, which just injects a ton of personality into what was an already fun as hell opening. I'll be damned if this doesn't make me smile every time I see it. Much like Copcraft, the Beastars OP kicks off with a jazzy hook that gets you tapping your foot immediately and then manages to seamlessly transition from a tense tone to a carefree and upbeat one that just never lets up. And I'd be remiss to not mention the incredible and unique stop motion animation and otherwise striking imagery that Studio Orange conjured up. From the nighttime hunt to the dance sequence, there is always something really interesting happening visually. The Promised Neverland has probably the best drop of any opening this year, with some killer sax work being accompanied by just the right drum and guitar work to make it hit even harder. And it's not just the song that's great. Cloverworks went off with utilizing the visuals to further embody the sense of tension found throughout the show. The narrower aspect ratio compared to other openings gives it a claustrophobic and confined feeling, which is perfect given the story, and the use of lighting with barely illuminated shots just adds to that feeling. Additionally, they use puzzle pieces as the background, which goes along with the characters trying to metaphorically piece everything together, and then later show the characters breaking down those same puzzle pieces as they find the answer and take action. 
The last thing that I really liked was what I took to be the red string of fate connecting our main characters, and then it burning up. I mean, damn. What a great combo of song and visuals. The build-up in Vinland Saga's opening is lengthy, but as it continues to add in more instruments, starting with soft vocals and guitar work and then adding in the drums and second guitar, the anticipation just grows higher and higher before it crescendos with the chorus, immediately following a brief respite. Adding in screamed vocals in the second half was also a great touch, as it really fits in thematically with the tone of the arc. Visually, I love the progression of Thorfinn running that shows with each of the drum rolls and the expert usage of the camera by Wit to show 3D space. And wow, that final shot of Thorfinn screaming into the night sky while on top of a pile of bodies is just beautiful. And now, here we are, the top 5. Honestly, I can see why anybody would pick one of these as their favorite of the year overall. So, let's just keep it rolling with my top 5 from 2019. How anyone could not love Onagai Muscle is beyond me. The trademark line is catchy and hilarious, as is the pre-chorus Saito Chesto, the back and forth between Hibiki and Machio for the vocals is fun, and the visuals pop like nothing else. I mean, come on, this intro is just mesmerizing, no? Much like the back and forth between Hibiki and Machio's vocals that I mentioned, I also think the visual back and forth between the girls exercising and Machio posing is hilarious, and we also get other fun gags and memorable character moments like Hibiki being worried about her little bit of chub, Akemi's knowing wink, and the teacher's shush. Onigai Muscle is an absolute banger. Wa Moon Das Cry. That's all I need to say. This song is a bop through and through, going for a much more unique take on the classic VA singing a song for a slice of life comedy trope. The visuals perfectly capture each character's personality during the verse, and it all builds up to this trippy chorus visual, with characters rapidly appearing, disappearing, and otherwise moving around the screen. I really don't know how to describe this. It's incredibly unique to watch, I love the song, and the OP as a whole is just really fucking cool in general. You thought Copcraft and Beastars had jazzy openings? Nah, bro. You want jazz? You come here. Love Dramatic is an absolutely perfect opening for the hilarity that is Love is War's unique brand of rom-com. Character moments reign supreme in this opening, especially with Kaguya and Shiragane doing everything they can to sabotage each other and consistently getting embarrassed. I also really liked Chika being the Joker as she's the most liable to randomly throw a wrench into everything, and then the psychedelic visuals in the chorus are both trippy and fun. And of course, I can't help but mention that brief shot of the characters dancing, which I always love to see. Out of every opening on this list, I'd say Love Dramatic is the one that best pairs with the show. Having the visuals be set during a mostly dreary rainy day reinforces the drama and tone, but the real allure of Domestic Girlfriend's opening is the fantastic vocal performance from Minami. I mean holy shit is this good! Her vocals are much rougher than most OP performances, and that combined with the quick delivery and rapid breaths between lines in the chorus make the song feel intense and like every line carries some weight behind it. It's a raw, impactful song where you can just feel the emotion emanating from her vocals, and that carries it to the number two spot. And now that we've reached number one, the party is over. Taking home the nod for my personal favorite opening of the year is the first Dororo opening, and what an opening it is. The vocals are both catchy and upbeat, but the instruments and visuals make them feel somehow ominous at the same time. Oh, and the chorus is introduced with a ridiculously satisfying bass drop. Speaking of the visuals though, they are consistently engaging and do a great job of demonstrating the despair that Hyakimaru and Dororo go through on their journey, and the transitions between each scene are smooth as hell. They even managed to sneak in a quick callback to the art style of the original anime towards the end, which was a cool nod to the past. And wow, how about that shot of Hyakimaru fighting in the reflection of the blade? That has to be one of the single best shots of any opening this year. Kayan is the full package and that's what makes it my favorite opening of the year. And that wraps up the list of my top 25 openings from 2019. What did you think? Did you agree with my picks or are there some that I missed? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. If you're not already subscribed to me on YouTube or following me on Twitter at JDefenseAnime, then go ahead and do that now. And as always, thanks for checking out my video, and until next time.